Howdy, fellow programmer carbonauts. I'll bring him here. Today, we're going to dig deeper into some of the math used to compute a rendezvous between a ship and a target in orbit around carbon. As in previous videos, we're using the KOS mod to achieve this. So we'll be covering both orbital mechanics and scripting topics as we go. Before we get into the weeds, let's narrow our focus to a specific scenario. For the purposes of brevity, we constrain the problem to something simple to get started. Let's say we have two vessels in low carbon orbit, launched at different times. We have a target vessel either leading ahead of our ship or lagging behind it. For circular orbits, the angle between two vessels at the same altitude remains constant as the vessels traverse the orbits. We'll exploit this shortly. In order to bring both vessels to the same place at the same time, we must adjust the orbit of one of the vessels and wait. Typically we do this with something like a Hohmann transfer. We will change the orbit of one vessel to an elliptical one with a slower period. This way, as it takes longer to traverse the orbit, the angle between vessels changes in a predictable way after each full orbit. The idea is to compute an elliptical orbit in such a way that the ratio of the orbital periods line up in a convenient way. Now, remember that circular orbits don't strictly have a defined periapsis, so we can't simply time warp to a periapsis and execute a burn. We must first determine the position of the ascending and descending nodes. KSP shows these to the player, but KOS does not have access to the values so we must compute them ourselves. Fortunately, this is a relatively simple matter of computing the angular momentum of each graph, and then computing the cross product of the two momentum vectors. This results in a vector pointing at the ascending node. There's probably a clever way to calculate this precisely on the orbit, but I used a search algorithm to project the ship position forward in time to find the point along the orbit where the angle between the ship position and the above cross product is near zero. Once we know where, or when, to execute the burn, we need to know how much delta V to add. Now we use the exploit I mentioned. Since we know the angle between the two vessels, we can represent this as a percentage of the total angle, two pi radians or 360 degrees. Using this, we can compute the time required to traverse the portion of its orbit between now and when the target will be at the maneuver node location. Conveniently, this will act as the periapsis of our new elliptical orbit. Here we place a node and begin increasing its prograde vector until the resulting orbital period matches our desired value. But what is the desired value? Here's where I lied just a little in the title. We could compute the value by using vis viva to define a delta v value to produce the desired orbit. Maybe in a later video. For now, I used another search algorithm to brute force the solution. Specifically, I used this first order proportional search, increasing the prograde value based on a simple gain multiplier on the measured error. And that's pretty much all there is to it. As you can see, we've successfully computed an intercept within five kilometers. From there, we can execute the node and carry on with zeroing relative velocity and docking, which I'll cover in the next video. As always, links to the scripts and craft file are in the description. So until next time, thanks for watching and good luck out there.